Hey guys, Mia, Mia Rangeria, and welcome back to my channel. I'm always on the hunt to look for fun ways to take pictures, and let me introduce you guys to this bad boy right here. This is the newest addition to my whole photography journey. So I got this flash from Kaden. This is the Speedlight 430 EX3. If you ask me, is this the best flash out there? I could not tell you because I didn't have time to look at reviews. I had to fly the next day when I got this, so I just got it because it was available next to my house and because this is a Canon, my camera is a Canon, and I was like, it must work, right? And it's working perfectly, it's amazing. But the downside is that it is powered by batteries like this. So my advice to you is that if you were to get a flash like this, get one that you can charge like right on the wall. Minor detail, but still annoying. I wish I was making this intro as my first time using it, so I cannot spoil you guys that it's actually amazing to own a flash because you can take picture at any time of the day. So for the first style, I wanted to make it retro and vintage. So I found this hotel in downtown LA. This is called the Hoxton. And I really like that this hotel had the details that I wanted, like a cool little lamp that is different. The bed frame was so cool and unique. A few little details here and there that made the hotel more personal. Like overall, this was definitely the vibe I was looking for. So we went ahead and shot the first look. I wanted the look to be fairly simple, so like a black dress, some tights, but at the same time, a little bit more than just a black dress. So I went ahead and grabbed those gloves. The gloves are needed, you guys. I feel like people in the 1920s, when they go out, they would wear gloves. So that was kind of the look I was going for. And uh, we literally just got these gloves on our way to the hotel. It was the perfect addition to the look. So let's take a look at the pictures that we took. They try different settings. I'm going to write the one that I like the most uh, when I was capturing those pictures. So you could try it and if it doesn't work out, we have to try something else, but I'll write it right here just in case you want to see it. When I was thinking of what to wear, I had to think a little bit differently than what I'm used to wear on an everyday basis, such as to bring out the picture a little more. I needed texture, like sparkles, anything that shines. And I got this dress that I hate, by the way. It is such a bad, bad dress. It is from Zara and it is not flattering. It's just a tube dress that you would think, okay, cute and simple, but it was not flattering at all. But I placed my hand around my hips to make it a little bit more curvy looking than just a straight potato bag. And I'm glad I accessorized it with this little headband to make it a little different from the first look pic. We managed to get few pictures out of this. All right, guys, let's move on to the next look. So the next look is so cute. I actually like it a lot. This is a full leather suit, like a blazer and some pants. And I was willing to add a pop of color, so I grabbed this Valentino bag and styled it with it. I also feel like having color in the photography makes it pop because of the flash, it reflects the color and it's like, boom, beautiful. Imagine a block of green or a block of red color, like the purse that I'm wearing right now, or just, just a rich, vibrant color being flashed at, just beautiful. We tried in the room and it was, I don't know, I felt like it was missing something. So I was like, let's go downstairs. And we couldn't take it with the camera. Oddly enough, I really think that it is weird when a hotel is like not letting you take good quality pictures of the hotel uh, because that's just free marketing for you. Like, why would you not? Why not? Since we couldn't use the camera at this hotel, we went ahead and used the phone. And here's the next point that I wanted to make is that you do not need to buy extra things if you already have the tool. So the iPhone takes amazing pictures with the flash and that's how we got this picture right here. 
Actually, I already posted this picture on my Instagram. If you don't follow me yet, you have to. That's where all of this is at. My Instagram is Mia Rangria, so you can check it out. I like variety in my shoes, so I was like, okay, like we got enough of this place and I was wearing all black throughout the whole shoot, so let's go somewhere else. So we went to Santa Monica for the sunset. I love locations like this because it's so vast and it's free. There is no time constraint, maybe a little bit because you have to catch the sunset a little, but you can take as long as you want to nail the picture. This is when I was like, I need this flash in my life because the pictures are gorgeous. And guys, please do not laugh at the shoes. I broke a wine glass, stepped on it, bled for a few days, good and great content for a few days. Ugh, I do not like not to be productive, by the way. And on this day, it was still hurting, so I just chose the most comfortable shoes. But guess what? It does not even matter because the shoes are not seen in the pictures. Even though everything is still neutral colors, I feel like the puffy jacket with the sunglasses just made the full look complete. Are you guys ready? Let's take a look at the pictures. As I'm looking at this footage, definitely this is a Cali vibe. Like you can feel it right away that it is California. And I feel like this is something that people do not take advantage of. So whatever city you're in, there's always beauty to it. There's always beauty to it. I had to say that sentence twice because I truly believe that. When I was in Virginia, I felt like there was no beauty to it, but then I came back for vacation and then I was like, whoa, hold on. This is a whole different vibe that I could literally just aesthetically combine together. So there's always beauty to a city and I really feel like people don't take advantage of it. Including me even now, I feel like I don't even have like California enough, even though I live in California. Uh, so that's something that I want to implement a little bit more throughout my feed on my Instagram, throughout my videos on YouTube. I think the key is to look at what you see on an everyday basis through a different lens because perhaps you see it too much that you don't even like feel like it is different anymore that is worthy of like sharing but that is definitely an ongoing challenge that i place on myself to embrace the place the city that i'm in and not just a blank wall even though the blank wall cuts it you know for selfies but like we want to include a little bit more personality within the blank wall that was so fun and it was long overdue for me to get this flash I loved it, I loved the look that it gave, and I'm going to give it a couple more try. All right, you guys, I'm gonna conclude this video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down below what type of video you would like to see next, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also follow me at Mia Andrea on Instagram. Bye, guys, have a great day.